recording. Hello, recording. How are you? <laughs> I don't know what that's all about. Here we go. Hi, my name is Father Mike Schmitz, and this is Ascension Presents. So, one of the things people often get, well, including myself, it's not just other people, one of the things we as human beings sometimes get really disturbed by is the brokenness that we experience in this world, the evil we experience in this world. And that makes complete sense, doesn't it? I mean, it's just one of those situations where it hurts. Like, uh, suffering hurts, evil hurts, grief breaks our hearts. That's, that's real. The fact that people, including ourselves, can do really awful things. That's, that's, uh, that's difficult. But it's not a surprise, right? Because we all have hearts. We all know ourselves. We all know what it is to say, I know what I'm supposed to do. I don't do that. I know what I even want to do. I don't do that. I know what uh, I should avoid doing. And I do that. Like, we all know that. We all, again, in some ways, yes, suffering, so painful. Grief, so real. Overwhelming, crushing at times. Our weakness and our brokenness and others' weaknesses and their brokennesses, those are painful. But the interesting thing is they shouldn't be a surprise. What's a surprise, I think? What's a surprise is the fact that we, we care. What's a surprise is that people who have done evil things they want to change. I think we can say even more, more, even more pronounced, even more kind of uh, pointedly. It's not shocking or a surprise that we fall. It's not shocking or a surprise that we say no to God. What's a miracle is that we ever come back to Him. And when I say miracle, I really mean miracle. I mean an act of grace. Because think of all that has to happen for us to, to, you know, with our broken hearts, with our petty and small and just, you know, all the, the mess we are. To be able to come back to the Lord involves His gift. This, I'll say like a dual conviction of God's grace, a dual miracle in everyone's hearts is required when we go back to confession. Say, for example, you know, that's one of the reasons why I always have said and I always will say that confession is a place of joy. Confession is a place of victory because it's a place of a miracle. Whenever someone shows up for confession, they have been moved by the dual miracle of grace. And that dual miracle of grace is, one, I've been convicted by the Holy Spirit of my sin. I remember, uh, you know, someone can say, I'm convicted by my sin. Our sin doesn't convict us. I remember hearing a pastor talk about this and said, no, no, sin dulls us. Sin doesn't prick our hearts. It numbs our hearts. Like we choose to sin and what it naturally does is makes us care less and less about the fact that we're sinning. God is the one who pricks our hearts. God is the one who convicts our hearts. That miracle of our hearts being convicted by God because of our sins, that's a miracle. Because we realize <laughs> brokenness is our default state. That, that sense of rebellion, that, that state of rebellion, being you know, uh, against the Lord, is our default state. The act of grace, that first miracle, is the Holy Spirit has shown up in your life and has pointed out, okay, here is where you've fallen. Here is where you've sinned. That's the first miracle. Because every one of us, as I said, every one of us knows exactly what it's like to just say, I don't care. But there's that second miracle, that second act of grace, the second conviction. Not only to get a person to confession, are they convicted by their sin, they've been convicted by the reality of the mercy of Jesus. I mean, this is this crazy thing. It's one thing. I mean, obviously, if I'm convicted by my sin, I'm just like, oh my gosh, Lord, I feel so bad. I feel so awful. Here I am, a loser. But to be convicted by God's mercy means that not only do I know my sin, I know his goodness. Not only do I know my brokenness, I know not only his, not only his ability to heal, I know that he wants to heal me. You guys, this is one of the most incredible graces I can even just I can't even fathom this. To simultaneously know, I need God's love. I need his mercy in a way that I don't deserve. Because that's what mercy is, right? Mercy is the love that we need the most and we deserve the least. But to also have that conviction by the Holy Spirit that God in Jesus not only has the ability to forgive me, but he wants to forgive me. That dual conviction 
That dual act of grace, that dual miracle happens every single time a person goes to confession. Without that conviction of our sins, we'd simply be indifferent to God's mercy. But without that conviction of his mercy, we would be condemned by our sins. The dual miracle, the dual act of grace, avoids those two traps, one of condemnation, the other of indifference. And that's why confession is a place of joy, confession is a place of victory, confession is a place where even before the absolution happens, even before that I absolve you of all your sins in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and, and, there's, and, there's, and there's forgiveness, and there's restoration, and there's reconciliation, even before that, a miracle has already happened. So, if right now you're sitting there and you're thinking, I've been convicted by, by God about my sin, that's the first miracle. You are the recipient of a miracle of God's grace. If you are sitting here and you're thinking, I'm being convicted by God of his mercy, his love for me, his desire to forgive me, you're experiencing right now the miracle of his grace. And even if you don't feel anything, here's the last thing, even if you don't feel it, like I don't feel like really sorry for my sin, I don't feel like I'm overwhelmingly loved by the Lord Jesus, if you are simply convicted by the knowledge that this is a sin, if you're simply convicted by the knowledge that Jesus desires to forgive you and he already loves you, that's a miracle. Miracles have very little to do with feeling. Conviction can oftentimes in, in, encompass feeling. It doesn't have to. Because what's conviction? Conviction comes from the, from the word uh, to be convinced, right? Or convincere, which means with victory, to be conquered. So I know this, I'm convicted by this, and I'm letting it win. That's conviction. That's to be convinced. I know that I've sinned. I'm going to let the Lord win and let me escape me from indifference. I know that he loves me and desires to forgive me. I'm going to let him win as I bring myself and my sins, my brokenness, my weakness, my failures, myself to the Lord and let him meet me with his mercy and his grace and his forgiveness and himself. It's a miracle. Brokenness is kind of boring. It's just the default state of all of humanity. Restoration, mercy, forgiveness, conviction by God of our sins, a conviction by God of his love for you in your sin. That's a miracle. Anyways, from all of us here to Sense Presents, my name is Father Mike. God bless.